This video will cover the topic, finding inputs and outputs of a two-step function that models a real-world situation, function notation. To solve a problem of this type, we must be able to answer questions about the input or output about a given real-world function. What would a problem of this type look like? Good question. An example of a problem of this sort looks like this. A construction crew needs to pave a road that is 204 miles long. The crew paves 9 miles of the road each day. The length L in miles that remains to be paved after D days is given by the following function. L of D is equal to 204 minus 9D. We are asked to answer the following questions. A. How many miles of the road does the crew have left to pave after 12 days? And B. If 123 miles of the road remains to be paved, how many days has the crew been paving the road? Oh, alright, so the problem just wants us to find inputs when given an output, and outputs when given an input for real-world functions. Exactly. Let's start with problem A. How many miles of the road does the crew have left to pave after 12 days? In this problem, the function we are given will output the amount of miles that remain to be paved when we input the amount of days d into the function. Here is a more visual way to represent the function. Do you have any ideas on what we should do next? Well, since problem A is looking for the amount of miles of road left to pave after 12 days, we plug in 12 into the equation where the variable d is, and then solve the equation, right? Exactly. When we input the number 12, our function will look like this. Solving this out, we get a total of 96 miles left to be paved. Let's try out the next question. If 123 miles of the road remains to be paved, how many days has the crew been paving the road? Oh, okay, so for this problem, we are given an output and asked to find an input, right? Exactly. This question is giving us the amount of miles left to be paved, which is the output of the function we were given, and asking us to find the amount of days the crew has been paving, which is the input of the function. To solve for this answer, we will set the equation we are given equal to 123 miles, and solve for the amount of days d in the equation. Setting it up this way, your function will look like this. Our first step in solving is to subtract 204 from both sides. Doing this, our function will now look like this. We now divide both sides of the equation by negative 9 to isolate the d variable. Doing this, we will find that d equals 9. This means that if there are 123 miles left to be paved, the crew has been paving for 9 days. Oh, okay, I think I get it now. So, just to clarify, for a problem that asks us to find inputs and outputs of a two-step function that models a real-world situation, we have to decide whether to plug in the number we are given in the question into either the output or input. Once we do that, we can then solve the problem for either the input or the output. Hey! You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.